Hi, this is Jim Laird from JM Strength and Conditioning. I'm just taking a quick work uh, break from a workout today to kind of show you a couple things that I learned from Bill Hartman up at IFAST. I went up to Bill for some uh, shoulder issues. I got I tore my labrum in a car accident, uh, and I've been having some issues with my shoulder. And he showed me some breathing exercises that uh, actually opened my shoulder up and it helped with my low back. Uh, it was really tight. Uh, and so they work so well for me, incorporating it into our class. Uh, so that we could teach people how to not only breathe diaphragmatically, but how to brace their core properly. And uh, I'm just going to show you a couple things here. This is G. When you first start doing this with, uh, with people, uh, they're going to look at you like you're weird and crazy and silly. Uh, but if you stick with it and you consistently do it, they will come back to you and go, Aha, I got it. I've learned how to turn my core on and it makes everything so much easier. Are they like, oh, my back's feeling better, etc., etc.? So you got to just kind of roll through the tin full hat stage. So, G, this is one of the G, one of my baseball guys I've been working with for a while. And you notice how G set up 90 degree angle, nice neutral uh, spine, heads back. He's got his fingers set up, his thumbs are in his low back, his fingers are on the side, and we're doing that to test and make sure we're getting what we want. We want what's called circumferential expansion. We want 360 expansion. So G's gonna breathe in through his nose, and you notice how his belly expands, but not only does his belly expand, he expands into his low back. He doesn't like press his low back into the floor, but he creates um, like pressure 360. So he breathes in through his nose, he blows out hard through his mouth, blow really hard, blow hard, G. Makes sound. There you go, blow out, breathe in, blow out, makes sense. There you go. And we usually do about 20 of these breaths. If you notice, G's doing a really good job here. He's really good at breathing through his belly. Most of the people, when they first start, they'll, they're, they're chest breathers. They'll, they'll breathe. Through. You want some expansion of the chest because we're trying to fill up as much as we can, but we, we want expansion out. We don't want expansion up. We don't want the traps and all these muscles up here doing the breathing. So you'll notice that what I'll do with clients is I'll hold you know, their chest down, obviously appropriately, according to gender, but I'll hold their chest down so that their rib cage can't go up as much and it makes them breathe through their belly. So we usually have people do about 20 breaths and then we have them spin around and we do this ab exercise that Bill showed me to help me uh, learn how to brace 360. That was a mistake I was making with my lifting because I was pushing out into the front of the belt too much. So we've got a nice neutral spine and what we want is G to breathe in big and then we want to blow out and as soon as it's really hard to blow out, as soon as his rib cage goes down, we brace hard. 360 brace, he's creating, pushing out on my hands. I tell people I should be able to stand on their belly. They're so tight. He's creating pressure through there and then he's gonna create distraction and he's gonna keep that pressure with distraction by moving his feet. And it's a really good way to practice and I could test and I could see that he's got pressure. But we usually have him do it for 10 or 15 seconds. This teaches them to create pressure while they're shallow breathing. So he lets it out, he's ready to go for another 10, he takes a big breath, he blows it out, he creates pressure, and he's just practicing turning that core on. And basically what happens is these people learn how to brace, and it carries over to their swings, it carries over to their lunges, they're able to keep their pelvis neutral for squats, and everything just works so much better. So this has worked great for us, give it a try, it's really simple, it takes like two minutes at the beginning of class, we do it after foam rolling. Thanks.